tomorrow night, um, the evening of September 20th, 2017, begins uh, Rosh Hashanah, so the Jewish New Year. And from that date uh, to a week from Saturday, which is Yom Kippur, which is the Day of Atonement, is or begins the highest, some of the highest holy days in uh, Judaism. And the Jews teach it's the time when the Lord draws closest to the earth. And he opens all his books and determines what life it, your life is going to be like. So it's a time preceding the Day of Atonement when you would seek God and ask him what sort of changes that he wants you to make. So the question that I got from the Lord today to ask you is, for you to ask him, rather, is what will it take for me to move forward? And I think that's a a big question, but that's all repentance is, is moving forward. And I think a lot of people have felt stuck in different areas. And usually, not all the time, but most of the time, uh, when I find people who are stuck, because that's what I do in counseling, we deal with the stuck places, it's usually because people have stopped trusting God in a certain area. And, um, and they stop trusting God usually because he did not meet their expectations. You know, as Christians, we think... I know we don't mean to, but we think that if we do this, then God will do that. And that he's kind of like, you know, a coin-operated machine. Do this, and he'll do that. But he's not like that. (laughs) As C.S. Lewis said, he's not a tame lion. So when he does not meet our expectations, uh, especially when we think we've done what he wanted us to do, um, we usually get upset at him, uh, and rather than seeking him to find out what's going on, we just stop trusting him, at least in that realm, in that area. So those are some things to ponder, but I think the big question for you is, to the Lord, is what is it going to take for me to move forward this year?